Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. But this video, it's going to be Happy Front Toaster Day. See, what had happened was, I stopped by my local fish store, Fish Bowl Pets in Stanford. Go check them out. And I saw this guy give me the eye from across the aisle. This guy right here. This six-line front tosa, which might not even be a front tosa. It might be a gibberosa, a morph of a front tosa, but I still had to take him home. It's definitely a beautiful fish. I'm going to get him temperature acclimated right now, and once that's done, I'm going to get ready to drip acclimate him. While he's drip acclimating, I'm going to give you guys a heads up on some new things I'm doing in the fish room. Right here. I just got a new bucket. This is where I'm going to drip acclimate them in. I'm tired of doing it in the old pots and pans like I've been doing in the old Tupperware. So when I was at the dollar store, I got one of these. Have you noticed lately when you go to a dollar store that nothing costs a dollar anymore? I don't know. Maybe that's false <laughs> advertising. You tell me. For the sake of the fish, I'm not going to record while I drip acclimate them just so I can get them in the water. I don't want any stress on them. One thing I have to do in the fish room today is I have to replace this handle. My old one's starting to leak, and I'm going to swap it up to make my water changes even easier. Here you see the old one. It's just rusted out. I tried tightening with a wrench. It needs to be replaced. Since it's Father's Day, this is a painting my father did on the wall back in 1969. Love you, Dad. Rest in peace. Now here, since some people complained, including me, about my audio quality, I have my new microphone. I'm just waiting for the adapter to show up. Now, guys, it's been hot around here lately. Fish room is boiling. So I went and I installed my portable air conditioner. Works pretty good. Blows a lot of air, thank God. I got this on a Facebook Marketplace. For $100, two years ago. Every summer, when it starts getting swampy down in the fish room, and water starts evaporating like crazy, I just hook it up. Since it's a portable, you just take this tube. Yes, I like duct tape. And just run it out through a vent. And it'll cool everything off. I don't know about you guys, but it's been hot around here lately. Second thing I gotta do... I got to calcium coat these worms from my gecko. He had some crickets the other day. I figured I'd give him a treat. I got a new calcium supplement for him. Hopefully this is the one he likes. If you know anything about it, let me know. It says something about with or without vitamin D3. Uh, since he's under UV light, I don't think he needs the vitamin D3. But you guys let me know. Now another must-have. Is a nice clean bucket. My buckets were getting old, so I stopped by Ace Hardware, got myself a brand new bucket. Ooh, look how clean. Especially since I do salt water and fresh water. I need one for fresh water, I need one for salt water, not to cross contaminate. Nice bucket, five gallon was on sale for $4.99. So I picked one up. I should have got two. This is where I'm going to store them from now, guys. Right underneath the 55-gallon that I have the pocket puffer in. But if you notice, looks like there's enough room for a 20 tall under here. So, having multiple tank syndrome like I do, who knows? Now, how many of you guys have a problem lately with the weather warming up with water evaporation? I do. Here's my gallon jugs. What I do is I fill them up. I add a little bit of a dechlorinator, a little bit of prime. I let them sit. The two with the tops on it have been sitting for two days. And the other ones have been sitting for 24 hours. Then I'll use them to top off my tanks. Unless I'm doing a water change. On a side note, you guys must wonder what I do while I'm in the fish room. Well, I watch a lot of YouTube. A lot of YouTube. There's our guy Corey from Aquarium Co-op. He's talking about a pump I'm interested in getting. Because my pump is way too loud. I think I'm going to invest, save up some money, and get one of these, run the whole fish room off it. I'm going to do a video pretty soon about my top 10 fish keeping YouTubers. 
I hope you guys check that one out when it comes out. But as far as Corey at Aquarium Co-op, definitely some of the best information you're going to get. His live streams are top notch. He might be a little grumpy sometimes. But as far as the information goes, that's the guy. All right, friends. If you're enjoying this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that notification bell and share this video. Thank you. A little bit of the fish room. Mmm, that's some good H2O right there. Now what I also did is I cut a hole in the wall. Yep, I cut a hole in the wall so I could look through and see my other tank. This is a 90-gallon boat front. I want to upgrade it to a 120, a 125. I might even build my own. There's the crayfish. He just molted. For a minute, I thought there was something wrong with him. This guy's been growing like crazy since I got him. Like crazy. This is the only thing I feed feeder fish to, really, is this guy. And boy, can he hunt and can he grab a fish. Very cool. One of my only bare bottom tanks. Now you guys say, Vinny, how do you do water changes? Well, I'm going to make a video on that too. But right now, this is my drain. I'm going to have to open it up on the top probably a little bit. But it does drain right into the main system. Makes it so much easier. Since I'm in the basement, I can't get the vacuum to have it suck upstairs with the python. So I got to do it like this. Back to Frontosa Day. I drip acclimated them. I got them out with the net. Plopped them in. Seems to be doing okay. Just checking out his new tank and new surroundings. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep him in this tank. Now this, this is a six-line Frontosa. Or Gibberosa, which is a strange name, but whatever. Um, there's the seven-line which I think is the, the actual real Frontosa. Now, here's the problem. I don't think this guy wants any tank mates. Yep, there he goes. Okay. The Pahaka Puffer is not having any of this. So, he's got to come out. I'm going to take him in. Look at him. Look, he's taunting me now. He's taunting me. So, let me take a minute. Scoop him out again. This time I'm going to try to do it in a little container. So he doesn't get spooked. Now here he is. In his new home. I think he'll be better off in here until he grows out a little bit. I might even, like I said, that 20, 20 tall that I can fit underneath. The 55 gallon that I showed you. It's probably going to be a tank just for him. Maybe a couple frontosas. I would like to have a frontosa only tank. They're very cool fish. Now, I'm thinking since he's a middle swimmer, he'll be okay in his tank. His only tank mate uh, is a new baby arowana I have who's too small to pose any threat to him. And they're not really fin nippers like the Pahaka was doing. Let's see. There he is. You can see him a little bit. Now, you can see both of their tails are a little torn up. That happened at the wholesaler, and I figured this one, this frontosa was in with another frontosa. They went at each other a little bit. So I figured, let me take him home, put him in a nice tank he can chill in, let him heal up, let him grow out, and I'm gonna get him his own tank. And now I'm really thinking, yeah, I need to get a couple more frontosas and have a little frontosa colony. Because, hey, you can never have too many fish tanks, right? Now here's a tip. What I like to do before I introduce any fish into an existing tank, I like to do a 40 to 50% water change and make sure everything's right for them. Now, these fish were already quarantined. They were quarantined at the fish store. So I'm not really worried about introducing the fish directly into a tank. But I do do my water changes. That's all I got for Frontosa Day. Thank you for stopping by Vinny's Aquatics. I can't wait to see you guys again. And have a happy Father's Day, everybody. And everybody have a great day. Thank you for watching. See you next time.